So I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to make the noise of the association you have to change on the count of three, okay? When you think about the concept of change, what shows up on the count of three? Ready? One, two, three, go. Okay? A little, a wide variety of responses. So you're either this little girl right here, right? Like, oh no, not change. Not change. Or you're this guy right here. You're like, yes, change. Or somewhere in between, yeah? And why we want to become aware of, of our emotional associations to change because underneath that is what we believe about change. So if you believe that change is hard, guess what? Change is going to be hard. You know, Henry Ford once said that whether you believe you can or believe you can't, you're right. So your beliefs really determine the emotions. And so we want to shift the way that we feel about change from a sense of maybe resistance to a sense of excitement. Change. Everybody cross your arms. Notice which arm is on top. Okay, now uncross and cross with the other arm on top. <laughs> who, who needs more time? <laughs> How does that feel? It feels weird. It feels different, right? It feels maybe a little wrong. Uh, uncross and do that second way again. One, two, three, go. Okay. And one more time. Uncross. One, two, three, go. There you go. So what do you notice as you try it over and over and over again? What do you notice? It's easier. It gets easier. And isn't this the process of change? Is that initially it's awkward, initially it's uncomfortable, initially it feels weird, initially it feels wrong. But the more you practice it, the better you get at it, and eventually it becomes the new normal. And we hired George because he came highly recommended. Right? So you've got to remember that through the process of change, whatever it is, whether it's leadership changes, organizational changes, technology changes, whatever it might be, that there's always going to be that level of uncomfortableness that happens when it comes to change. And what you have to know is that when you're uncomfortable, that's a sign of you growing. Does that make sense? That's a sign of you growing. So being uncomfortable is a good thing. Everybody, turn to your neighbor, give him a high five and say, you make me uncomfortable. <laughs> And so if you are thinking of hiring George, we definitely recommend him.